the modern life section of the uh, people of this region, particularly the women. And uh, I appreciate Dr. A. S. Dr. A. S. Gerard Ingalaratnam for this noble day. And I also extend a warm welcome to him on behalf of the Department of English to this webinar. Welcome to Ms. Sir. Then I extend a very cordial welcome to the Secretary of this uh, institution, Dr. Bajin Inigo. If this institution is considered as a ship, I am quite sure that uh, the Secretary is the uh, captain of the ship. He is uh, steering this uh, ship in the right direction. Guidance, this institution will reach the uh, height. And because of the organizers of this webinar, and on behalf of the participants, I extend a very, very warm welcome to the Secretary of this uh, uh, college, Dr. Virginia Nigo. Welcome you, ma'am. And I consider it as a, a, a privilege to me. And I am also immensely pleased to welcome our resource person, Dr. V. Jaisanthi. She is working as an assistant professor of English in SDMP College of Vaishnava uh, College for Women in Chennai. She is well acquainted with me. I know her personally. Did. I know her personally for more than a decade. And uh, uh, I formally wanted to have her profile and I made a request to her to send her profile. But when I saw her uh, profile, I was a little bit taken aback because it was so much of the voluminous academic achievements were there in her profile. I was very particular of inviting uh, Dr. Vijay Santi for this webinar because when we decided to have a, a webinar and communicate in English, I didn't even search for the resources. Also. Immediately, Dr. V. Jaisanthi came to my mind because I think that she was a competent person and she was the right person to address our students on this topic because she did her PhD on communicative English, one thing, and the second thing, she has also done a postgraduate diploma in English language teaching. So, uh, I, do, I, I think uh, no person can be a more suitable person than Dr. V. Jaisanthi for addressing our students on communicative English. And uh, Dr. B. J. Santi, to her credit, uh, she has uh, put her more than uh, 12 years of service uh, in the teaching of English language and literature, who has uh, a passion for uh, teaching English language and literature. And uh, she has attended many seminars and conferences, and uh, in whatever the seminars or conferences that she attended, her third of the has been recognized as a testament, and she was honored for it in almost all the seminars and conferences. She has authored four books and uh, she has uh, published 32 research articles in peer reviewed journals. And uh, to her credit, uh, she has uh, organized two workshops for the benefit of the students. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, she has also attended more than 40 workshops. I <clears throat> have a sense of pride in saying that uh, she is my uh, PhD board. Uh, when she did her uh, PhD in communicative English, I was a co guide and uh, as a researcher also, I knew her very well. She is a hard worker and uh, even uh, after 12 years of her service, she has not given up her passion for doing research. She continues her research work even today and I am extremely happy that uh, she gave her consent immediately when I approached her for uh, uh, addressing her students on this webinar. And I, am, I thank Dr. Jayasanthi for this on behalf of the management of uh, Nobel College of Arts and Science. And on behalf of uh, the students and staff members, we extend a very, very warm welcome to Dr. J. P. J. Santi. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Then uh, I extend a cordial welcome to all my committed uh, colleagues. Uh, my colleagues, they are giving a moral support to me invariably. So, with this team of staff members, I'm quite confident that I could uh, organize many school programs uh, in the years to come. And uh, I'm quite sure that this department will be a recruited department in the southern part of uh, Tamil Nadu. And on behalf of uh, uh, every one of you and on my own behalf, I extend a warm welcome to get the Finally, I extend a hearty welcome to all my students, all my student friends, because this seminar is organized for the benefit of the students. So, this communicative English is perhaps it may be a new area for you. This uh, webinar will be an eye opener for many, uh, many of my students. And uh, please listen that we will take an active participation. So if you have any questions, if you have any queries, please uh, do go to the question to the resource person at the end of the seminar.
end of the webinar. So uh, please be attentive and uh, let it be a very interactive one. And uh, on behalf of every one of the organizers of this webinar, I send a warm welcome to the students. Then I extend a warm welcome to all the people who are either directly or indirectly associated with this webinar. Once again, I welcome one and all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, I'm very happy to invite our respected chairman of the AHA General Council to deliver the presidential address. Good morning, all of you. It's my pleasure uh, to be part of uh, the webinar. Uh, in a short notice, in a very grand manner, and uh, the other. Uh, the theory of English that the film said. He was a theory in English not a term for the past several years. I know him personally. And uh, it's the effort in making the rural students, especially our uh, noble knowledge of art and culture. And uh, when we joined, he assured all the students that uh, we'll be making you. Uh, to help us in uh, especially communicating with you. Students usually in uh, southern part of Tamil Nadu, they feel uh, communicating with you is very difficult. And when they start to feel it is difficult, naturally difficult. Even when we ride a bicycle, and if you start to feel that I cannot ride the cycle, it's heavy, but it's not, quite natural. Likewise, when you, when you have uh, some hurdle in your mind, Naturally, it is a cannot get much. So, to eradicate that only the program is start from start. And our resource person, Dr. Jair Stranti, has introduced his well uh, versed and his uh, research also in uh, communicating. She uh, will be guiding you in a better manner. Each and every program that it is organized, the college compulsory students. We will be gaining in any workshop or in any webinar, whatever it may be. Whenever you get chance, just move. And I think this program is exclusively for uh, English major students, sir. Is it only for yes. English major? Or, uh, yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have extended invitation to the nearby colleges also, and they are also participating. But uh, those students uh, may have some other program today. Right? No. Yes, sir. Some colleges. Right now. When we have a program for languages, uh, it is better uh, to have all the students. If all the students enroll, even uh, other major students if they enroll, it will be more beneficial. And uh, hereafter, I think we can uh, ask all the students to participate. Because uh, all of them need community. Not, it is not only for uh, English majors. Uh, all the students participate and also get benefit. Uh, only then the program will be more useful than we call uh, from the first person from Chennai and uh, their valuable time may be uh, utilized in a proper manner. That's what I feel. And uh, anyhow, those who are participating uh, utilize fully and uh, if you have doubt, uh, you may have uh, the mindset that, that I cannot communicate well, and uh, those things if you have, just uh, ask questions, clarify, uh, try to uh, I thank all the departments, uh, thank you, including Madhivel Guru and sir, for arranging this wonderful program. That is the proceed in a very pleasant manner, and let's go to the Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now it's time for presentation. I wholeheartedly invite our honourable secretary of our institution, Dr. Shyam Virgin Indo, to facilitate the gathering. Uh, before that, ma'am. Good morning. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. It's my pleasure to be here. I have to thank the 
including Dr. Selfita, for this opportunity. Actually, this world communication is uh, and communication is an important thing. Normally, we are from Tamil Tamil Nadu, so Tamil speak very very well and to express everything in your own language, your our mother language. But when you come to English, first thing the students of schools and colleges they have to first you have to think it is a language and which to experience. When you practice in that, automatically you also can communicate with English. But our students, English are very difficult. Some uh, students feel like this. So first of all, you have to leave the view over there. And so this type of webinars will help you a lot. We are the first person, Dr. B. J. J. Shanti, and she is here. She is Associate Professor of English and is in Vaishnava College of Women and uh, she done her doctorate in communicating English, I think so. And so she may give you very good ideas and how to um, come over the fear from that and what is the important speaking English, communicating in English and its significance. Normally, wherever you go, when two people speak in English, automatically the other will turn and say, put speaking in English. So nowadays people are thinking it is a pride. We hope our students may enjoy this. And our resource person may give you good idea for the communicate, how to communicate in English. And she may give you a good point, good ideas and but just uh, listen to that and apply that in your life. So listening and going. Once uh, the webinar is over, you should not do that. You have to take the points in your mind. You have to try to practice it in your life. If it is better, you can enjoy the communication in English. It is nothing. It's just a language. So explain this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. The most awaiting moment is here. Keep your eyes and ears wide open. Get ready for it. Implement your animal music. Now, I go for the legal thing, but wait for the reason. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, okay. And dear students, am I audible to you all? Yes. Ah, ah, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Esteemed Managing Board of Noble College of Arts and Science for Women, Paul Avanatham, Honorable Chairman Dr. A.S.A. Gerald Nanaratnam, Sir, Respected Secretary Dr. N.R. Virgin Inigo, Ma'am, Reverend Principal Dr. M. Meenachi Sundaram, Sir, Respected Head of the Department of English Dr. R. Selvan, Sir, Dedicated Staff Members, Sincere Students and Enthusiastic Participants, My pleasant morning greetings to you all. Happy to meet you online girls as the pandemic COVID-19 has forced us to go online for education for the past few months. Though we are far away, we are near using technological tools and now I am with you all in Google Meet. As per the guidelines of your head of the department, today we all assembled here for an interactive session on the role and the significance of communicative English. I believe you are all interested in conversing in English. Is it right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, very good. As a college student, it's very important for you to communicate in English because in future, many of you might have the wish, aim and dream to become teachers, professors, researchers, etc. In earlier days, the situation was different. The word English itself 
was looked upon as phobia by majority especially with regard to fear of making grammatical errors while conversing usually students who are afraid of speaking in english with others what will they do any idea yes okay some students join spoken english courses so that in a few months they will converse somewhat in english some start conversing in english on their own with their parents or friends some students never come forward they feel relaxed by staying back but will they be successful in their career no so the fact you should understand is mere spoken english is not enough for this present technologically developed competitive world okay what is spoken english can anyone say yes it's just talking grammar in general spoken english classes teach grammar rules and make the students speak as per the rules but the time changes with communicative english that same phobia has been transformed into obeisance that is a word of respect why what is the reason why such scenes it's because of the demand for the skill communicative english which increases day by day in the career scenario communicative english is necessary if you want to go on with higher studies especially research after completing your studies also it is vital when you attend interviews and even after getting a job to maintain your employability status also you have to assert your ability with the help of communicative english only now let us see what is communicative english this query occurs in all learners and employees mind as it is the most stressed and demanded factor nowadays by the employers the term communicative english is defined as sharing or exchanging one's ideas opinions thoughts and feelings with others in sunday times new delhi alan barker states that when we communicate we trade ideas so ideas are the currency of communication only the most effective communication makes ideas explicit in brief we can say that communication is the process of shared understanding the word communication itself is derived from the latin word communis which means common and shared how that process of communication goes on let us have a view here communication refers to the exchange of thoughts and ideas with the intention of conveying information it's not just a one way process it's a two way street which includes vocalization as well as gesticulation the sender of the message is very important as he or she transmits the message to the receiver the purpose of communication is to convey one's beliefs ideas thoughts or needs with clarity so as to reach a consensus or a mutually accepted solution in all communications the information is enclosed in a package and it is channelized and imparted by a sender to a receiver via some medium the receiver then decodes the message and gives the sender a feedback in the form of response so all forms of communication require a sender a message and a receiver the key factor of effective communication is the identification with the message please note this girls this is the first key factor 
we all communicate with each other daily for various purposes but when one is communicating or conversing with another whether the listener can identify with what the communicator is saying and with the way the message is said is very important if the listener may not be able to receive and understand the message it will end in confusion and utter failure so in any communication who sends what to whom through which channel with what effect only matters to be an effective communicator one should also be an active listener that is listening the concept with the concentration then a quick thinker that is associating the information received with the current situation and finally a win win negotiator when dealing with conflicts one should look from the other point of view also that is in te- terms of the needs and concerns of the other party the purpose is not winning the argument but finding a solution that pleases both the parties so it is important to remain respectful to the other person even if one doesn't like the argument let me explain the power of communication and the impact it creates using examples when we are conversing with one another if you are using just a word instead of the right word see what happens girls i think you are all familiar with the three sentences given here can anyone read this yes ma'am yes very good speak out ma woman without her man is nothing louder please ma yes read the next two sentences also woman without her man is nothing yes then woman woman without her man is nothing yes okay very good you see now look at the first sentence the first sentence is without pun- punctuation it's ambiguous it's not clear in meaning but the second sentence if you read it as per the punctuation that is woman without her man is nothing it means any woman without her man that is father brother husband son neighbor colleague boss etc is nothing it gives male centered view but now look at the third sentence the place of comma it's just changed here woman without her man is nothing the meaning is any woman whether it is mother sister wife daughter friend boss etc without her man is nothing this sentence gives female centered view so the meaning changes by just pausing at the required word to be effective in communication we should be very careful in arriving at the intended meaning then only we can have the effect we want to create here there is another example which resulted in misinterpretation the situation is a boy student read about chromosomes and genes in the library he wanted to share this info to his classmate what he wanted to convey her is the chromosome genes of a father can actually give diabetes to his children due to hereditary factors but instead in excitement he just said hey do you know that your father's genes can give you diabetes now the girl was wondering she thought about the jeans dress that one usually wears 
So she replied, stupid, I don't wear my father's jeans. So how will I get diabetes? See the communication gap. The boy who wanted to present himself as a smart one failed miserably because of not using the right word. Now you can understand where the barrier lies. It lies in both the speaker's communication and the listener's misunderstanding. Okay, if this is the case, if so, how to achieve the desired fluency and accuracy in English? Among the four major skills, only writing skill is given more importance in majority of educational institutions. Listening skill and reading skill as per the individual's ability. Speaking skill is ignored totally. Dr. Ballard, a retired American Navy officer and professor who was awarded honorary degree by University of Bath in 1990 states, to speak any language, whether native or foreign, entirely by rule, is quite impossible. Yes, what he states is 100 percent true. We can't learn any language just by following rules. So, fluency and accuracy can be achieved only by practicing continuous language skill development activities. In order to increase active vocabulary over a considerable period of time. Please note this girls. You see two forms of vocabulary active and passive. When you learn any new word, if you use that word in conversation or in writing, it becomes active vocabulary. But when you are learning, but you are not using it, both in conversation and in writing, then it becomes passive. So, to improve your language skills, to reach that fluency, to achieve that fluency and accuracy, you should develop your active vocabulary. That is very, very important. But it takes time. It can't be done in a short period. Why effective communication is insisted in all the places, especially regarding career? Language is a commonly used medium of self-expression in all walks of life, whether it is personal, social or professional. At personal level, effective communication helps one to maintain good relationship as well as healthy lifestyle with our near and dear ones because they are the relations who see us at our best as well as the worst. Good communication helps us to avoid arguments and insults. Another important thing is taking the initiative to start the conversation. Those who have good communication skills are the first to start a conversation. At social level, good communication skills help a great deal in making a person impressive and influential in the society. In the professional world, the lack of effective communication skills has a negative impact on the professional life of all. Those who communicate well are generally looked upon and well respected. Without effective communication skills, the person may find it impossible to climb up the career ladder. Any professional success depends upon the individual's ability to communicate. Communication failures are costly. If there is no proper communication, it will lead to ill feeling among the workers, which result in mismanagement and in turn it affects good relation and productivity. So any information or message, if communicated correctly and clearly, will make the listeners give their best. Now 
let us move on to the thrust area that is the two types of communication skills verbal and non verbal communication skills these two skills are to be practiced by each and every student to be a good communicator verbal communication is one that is followed in all educational institutions visual aid also can support the process of communication in transferring the verbal information from the sender to the receiver the receiver could be an individual person a group of persons or even an audience a few oral communication types are discussion speech presentation etc as far as non verbal communication is concerned it is the process of communication through sending and receiving wordless messages such messages can be communicated through gesture body language facial expression and eye contact non verbal communication plays a major role in creating understanding the research by magrabian and ferris proved the fact that 55% of impact in communication is determined by body language postures gestures and eye contact 38% by the tone of voice and only 7% by the content are the words used in the communication process first let us hone our verbal communication skills using an activity now i'll play an audio from british council it is a conversation in a classroom a student came late to the class he sat near a student and asked her questions about the portion taught by the professor listen to it carefully after that we will have an activity sorry oh, sorry excuse me i'm just, I'm just coming to sit over, over here Hey, how's it going? So, what have I missed? Nothing. It just started around five minutes ago. Did he say anything about the midterm? What? About the midterm tests? Did he say anything about when he was going to hand them back? He's almost finished marking them. He said, "We we'll get them next Tuesday." I'm uh, sorry, I didn't catch that. When? What page are we meant to be on? Page thirty-four. Page thirty-four. Oh wait, I don't have my textbook. Can I share with you? Wow, this is hard stuff. Mm. What does SEO mean? What? SEO. This is all about SEO, but he hasn't said what it means. Search engine optimization. How to appear on internet searches. Internet searches. Right. Right. Okay. He said what it meant. What? He explained it before you got here. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay. Can you be quiet? I'm trying to listen to the lecture. So am I. Sorry. Sorry. One more question. What does this have to do with the American Revolution? What? I don't get it. Why is he talking about search engines in a course on the American Revolution? What are you talking about? This is a class on software engineering. You mean? It's not early American history. You're in the wrong class. Oh wow! Oh, now it all makes sense. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Here, I'll just. Excuse me. I'm in the wrong class. Excuse me. Thanks. Sorry. Oh, I just. Sorry. This recording is from the British Council. To find more activities to practice your English, visit www. BritishCouncil.org forward slash learn English. Dear students, I think we have listened to the conversation from British Council. Now, I framed some quiz based on that conversation between these students. Let me play that quizzes. dot com also. You just try to find answers i'll put it in the chat box also the link if your mobile data permits you you can carry on with your own 
if you have no if you have difficulty in getting access to that link please look at the screen and share your answers read the sentences carefully and then try to come out with your answers let me mute the music as well as the names if you are able to get access to the link instead of my name you just type your name okay let me start the game The boy thought this class was about the French Revolution. The same correct. Yes, I am happy that many students are trying it. Please read the sentence, understand, and then say the answer. The teacher will. Hand back the test next Thursday. Is it true? Yes, false. Very good. Come to the next question. Is it clear? The word order is given in jumbled form. Especially it is a question. You have to arrange it in order. First with the question word. And then the verb. And then the remaining sentence. Remaining words. Okay. Please read it and find it which one forms the right one. You see the third one. It starts with, with the American Revolution. And then there is a question mark in the middle. So it won't fit the right sentence order. Just leave it. The remaining two, which is right. What this does or what does this have to do with the American Revolution? Yes. Very good. The second one. Now come to the fourth sentence. Again, the same jumbled word order. Here also, you see all these three choices. They have the verb that is did as the starting verb. Did he about, did the midterm, did he say anything about the midterm? You see the second one, it has a question mark in the middle. You just leave it, ignore it. The remaining two. Is this right? Ah, yes. Did he say anything about the midterm? Very good. In the next one, the full form of SEO. Here in the conversation, this school boy student, he asked about the full form of SEO. The girl student, she replied one answer. What is the right one? The first one, it was search e-connect. There is no mention of e-connect here. Yes, very good. Search engine optimization. I'm really happy that uh, nearly more than 29, 30 students. They have answered. They are trying to answer this. It's really very a good attempt. Now again, this jumbled word. Yes, the second one, it has a question mark in the middle. You just leave it. The remaining two. What page are we meant to be on? What meant to be page we are on? Ah, that's the first one. Again, to our faults. To our faults, it is for evaluating your understanding. Okay. Whether you are able to listen to the conversation, whether you are able to comprehend the 
meaning of the content that, for that one. Okay. The bond shares. Is, did he, does he share his textbook with a girl? Yeah. It's false. And then the eighth one, the class started five minutes ago. Yes, the conversation begins with this statement only. It's true. And again, jumping the word order. What have I missed? I missed what I have missed. Yes, what and then the verb form. So what have I missed? Just the right one. Very good. The teacher is going on about such engines. What? It's not clear. Yes, it is right. Okay, very good, my dear students. Uh, I think you are right, but don't worry about wrong choice of answers. You just try practicing this kind of listening as well as practicing activity. In this online activity, my aim is to make you practice informational listening. That is what you do in the normal classroom when your staff teaches you a topic. The goal is to train you in focusing on the information or idea when listening a conversation an activity, an exercise, etc. It motivates you to recall and answer task in discussion. Now, it's time to practice non-verbal communication skills. I'll play a three-minute video directed by Gabriel Essien. It's a short film without dialogue. The title is Boundless. While watching, observe the environment, the characters, and the events that happened in that video. After watching, let us have a discussion in the form of question answers. Shall I play it now? Watch it carefully, girls.
Okay, girls. I believe you all observe very carefully. Let us start the discussion now. See, some questions are given here. The thing is, you have to answer the questions one by one. The only rule is, you should answer in a sentence only. One word answers, it's not accepted. Okay, the thing is, you have to answer in one or two sentences for the question. Let me start. The first question is, what does the girl see in front of her? What does the girl see in front of her? Girls, carefully observe the verb and then answer as related. Okay. Yes, what is the answer? Door. Yes, uh, now only I told you should answer in a sentence and one word answers are not accepted. And another thing, be louder, please. It's not audible. Okay, ma'am. The girl sees a door in front of her. Yes. Very good. The girl sees a door in front of her. Your way of answering it is right. Your arrangement of words is also right. Now, second question. What does she do on seeing the strange thing? What does she do on seeing the strange thing? Can anyone answer? Try to answer. Get up. What? She gets up. Yes. The thing is, on seeing the door, the girl, at that time she is just sitting on that bench and she gets up. When she gets up, the book falls down from her lap. So, how can you answer this? This one of you. She gets up. Yes, then? Then what did she do? What does she do? Yes, I will help you. She gets up and she starts walking towards the door. Okay. Yes. Here you have to mention both the activities. Now third question. How many doors are there? You see when she enters, uh, a door is shut behind. How many doors are there? Please try ma. One door. There are two doors. Yes, very good. There are two doors. You see, at first, outside, she was standing. She is standing outside a door. She enters the door. After she gets in, there is another door inside. She opens and then she enters again. So, totally there are two doors. Okay, very good. What does she do after the door locks itself? The fourth question. What does she do after the door locks itself? Can anyone say? Ma'am, I can't. What ma? Is there any problem? Do you have any difficulty? Yes, ma'am. I can't see, ma'am. Okay, I think there might be technical issues. Okay, let me stop here. The thing is, this activity is to give you training in 
intensive listening here it is not listening it is intensive observation because we are all watching our dialogueless film the thing is watching each and every moment in a film it's really a task you did this so that you can be a participator in the question answer session this intensive listening only help you to recollect what you observe okay and another thing i didn't inform you at the beginning of this activity that i am going to teach tenses if i say at the beginning that today you are going to learn simple present tense then you might uh, you might be bored so by making you do this activity by making you complete this activity i just guide you in learning simple present tense usage also okay but the thing is it is an activity of skill learning skill development along with it you are learning grammar also dear girls when you listen to this conversation or when you observe this dialogueless film for learning purpose you are not only doing intensive listening and informational listening along with these skills you also make use of other sub skills such as global listening in which focuses on the meaning of the information or message received and selective listening in which focuses on the outcome of speaking in second language when doing the online quiz and question answering techniques also you do word grouping and independent reading independent reading is attaching meaning to what you learn in listening or observing another important thing is you also learn how to pronounce words correctly and how to use intonation in sentences that is using high pitch and low pitch in conversation in answering the questions you also learn the usage of simple present tense by practicing these sub skills automatically language acquisition happens in your subconscious mind and thereby enhance your communication skills by activating these learning to your conscious mind and these in turn will strengthen your soft skills also when you are conversing when you are trying to answer here you also have obstacles and some students struggled hard to express themselves in such a situation how to overcome these barriers what to do let us see now the first thing you need to do is start reading english books it may be short stories novels essays journals etc increase your reading hours listen to english more if possible listen to english tv channels especially news channels and try to identify the message wherever whenever possible speak english the major problem with english as second language learners is they find it difficult to convey their thoughts in english because of the strong influence of their national language regional language and their mother tongue mother tongue plays a vital role here another thing is to have a free flow of conversation try to understand the concept or idea that is conveyed by the speaker to you don't try to misinterpret it get it cleared whenever you have doubt for the betterment of your interpersonal relations at your learning place as well as working place constant practice in speaking in english is needed conversation is the heart of communication and we can't survive without communication so to be an unique communicator learn how to organize your thoughts and ideas and take care in the delivery of your content now for the smooth road to effective communication what to do let us see here prepare to listen first in your conversation with others listening is very important and encourage the speaker to speak out his or her ideas 
be ready to take responsibility of your messages if your information or conversation is not understood properly adapt to defense of opinion if any accept feedback and criticism with open mindedness because sometimes difference of opinions and feedbacks help in looking at issues in different points of view and arriving at solution when you convey a message learn to say it assertively commanding or dictating terms is not welcomed in communication so don't be aggressive i wish to conclude my session with tony robbins words i think you might have known him he is an american author a coach and a motivational speaker famous for his self help books what he says is the way we communicate with others and with ourselves ultimately determines the quality of our lives that is only communication decide the quality the status of our lives those who are clear and effective in their communication can have more chances to emerge as a natural leader so be clear and effective in your communication these are the references i need for my speech okay girls do you have any questions no ma'am regarding learning and speaking english is there any question i want your opinion girls no ma'am it's clear very good then dear girls if you want to improve your lsrw skills that is listening speaking reading and writing you can refer websites which help in enhancing your communication skills let me give some website references here for learning english www.examenglish.com bbc learning english www.world-english.org learnenglish.britishcouncil.org these websites have a lot of practice tasks from elementary level to advanced level they help you to know your level of english and then proceed with further learning of language skills try them when you are free to conclude i thank the management and the principal of noble college of arts and science for women for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be the resource person here my gratitude and thanks to dr r selvam the head of your department for offering this chance to me to be here with you in this session i wish to convey one thing here i am really proud to say that he was my co guide when i did my research my research was on curriculum development and english language teaching methodology for enhancing tertiary level learners communication skills to make them more employable his effective co guidance helped me in completing my research successfully thank you a lot sir i wish to convey my thanks to dr r geeta the principal and dr s sita lakshmi the vice principal of our college for permitting me to be the resource person in this online webinar to last but not least stay safe stay healthy thank you all